are you trying to ream up to like get the CDE, like to get proximal, you know, bony contact for on growth, or are you just throwing the distal stem in and putting an A on there and carrying on? I use the proximal body on the arco specifically to balance the hips. So one of the things I don't think it's talked a lot about, but as you, as you go from A to B to C, right, uh, especially on some of these bodies, it can give you just two millimeters of pure offset, right, mm -hmm. which is nice. So I think you can really fine tune the balance of this hip in terms of restoring length and offset. So I that's my primary thing. If I happen to contact bone, great. You know, these newer tapers on these stems are hardened and forged differently. You know, they you know, they've been on the market for a very long time. There's not, there, there's not reported breakages. So I feel comfortable leaving that kind of unsupported. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I got this from Ed McPherson, but I, I sometimes will cover um, the proximal femur in some cement. Mm -hmm. Just kind of cover that up. Just not only to provide some support, but just add a little extra antibiotic solution with some antibiotic cement and kind of cover up a lot of that porous coating. Um, you know, it just makes me feel better at night sometimes that I'm supporting it with some cement. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, uh, uh, I, I agree with you. I sometimes wonder if I have an A body just floating in there, like on a bigger patient, I do, I do worry about that a little bit. So on a big, yeah. big patient, I will try to go up a size or two.